Hey there, it's Dr. K. Are you ready for another episode of High School Geometry? Today, we're going to learn about the law of sines. So, let's draw a triangle first. Here we have our triangle. And what the law of sines says is that here you have your angles. We'll call this angle big I A. We'll call this angle capital B, and this is angle capital C. Now, we'll call the corresponding sides, or the side opposite of the angle, the small letter. We'll call this little a, this is little b, and this is little c. So, this law of sines says that the angles and the sides are proportional in a triangle. Or basically, if you take the sine of the angles, You just have to divide it by the length of the side. Oh, that's a C right there. And you have a proportion. That way, if you're given any three coordinates or any, th uh, any two angles and one side, you can figure out the rest of them. So let's do a little example. Let's say that you're given an angle and one side or one angle is 40 and then you know the two sides are 24 and 20 for example all you have to do is set up your proportions we'll have sine of 40 equal to we're going to figure out this angle right here sine of x you have to divide this by the opposite side over 24 over 20. And then after doing cross multiplication and simplification, you find out that x is equal to approximately 32 degrees. So there you have it. You have an explanation and an example of the law of sines. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. K.